Good morning, everybody. It is a fantastic day. It is 6.31 a.m. right now. I am at my all-time favorite lake. You guys see me fish here all the time. Last time I was here, I caught my PB pike, so I'm kind of hoping for the same luck. We've had an absolutely insane, insane amount of rain lately, so the water's going to be for sure high, which could be a good thing, could be a bad thing. I just know it's probably going to be probably going to be fairly muddy, so I tied on a bunch of like Chartreuse crankbaits and black and blue chatterbaits, and uh, and yeah, that's pretty much it. But before I get started, I want to mention the meetup that I'm having. I have mentioned this in the last two videos, but there's some special news. We have Favorite Rods and Mystery Tackle Box partnering. I'm going to be giving away some Favorite Rods and some Mystery Tackle Boxes and selling a bunch of Favorite Rods there. And uh, is your, did your kayak float away? <laughs> all right uh, so uh what's your name what's up man i'm brandon brandon nice to meet you man what's uh, your name andrew andrew yeah nice to meet you. so what's up guys never <laughs> i'm vlogging his <laughs> kayak i'm walking here doing the intro and his kayak's floating away so i'm gonna go rescue rescue your kayak you know if i was into the whole clickbaiting youtube thing i'd be like i saved this guy's life but you know i'm not gonna do that today anyways i have the meetup at shields all the information will be down below Put a little pop-up thing here you should be there giving away a bunch of free stuff rods mystery tackle boxes all the fun stuff gonna be taking pictures lots of fun stuff right now i gotta go save the kayak all right there's your, there's your thanks kayak. buddy i appreciate it no problem <laughs> all right well thanks, you, buddy. good luck out there all right man you too so we are like i said we're gonna be bass fishing today maybe going after some pike uh last time i here i caught a pretty good sized one but like i said the water's high so it's gonna be a good day though it's a little bit windy that's good i was kind of worried it's gonna be too calm it's not too calm and uh, bluebird skies, beautiful, beautiful morning. We're gonna go catch some fish. Ooh, I just had a big old boil. Come on. Second cast of the spook. Oh, shoot, I don't have a Sanko tied on. Rookie mistake, Flair. Rookie mistake. Could have thrown in. Giant pike. It missed it. It might come back. It might come back. Giant pike. Holy. That's the second giant pike I've missed this morning. It literally sounded like I grabbed a bowling ball and just dropped it in the water. This is so frustrating. Two massive pike missed my frog. And I mean, I'm not walking it very fast. They're just completely missing it. Well, quick update for you guys. I uh, suck at fishing. Probably not news to any of you guys. I'm just kidding. Well, I mean, maybe. I don't know. Maybe you think I suck. I don't know. Um, basically, I went after Pike early this morning. I mean, that's why I got here at sunrise. And I, I had opportunities. I, I had one bigger than anything I've ever seen in my entire life. And I was pretty much speechless. It was, I don't know if I ended up showing that, that clip in this video or not, but I literally didn't say anything. And my heart just sank. Like, the head on it looked like an alligator like i'm not exaggerating i was scared when that thing hit um that one missed it and uh, i think i missed a bass on a spook first thing and then i missed another pike that just swirled on it i don't know what the deal is that dude that i helped with the kayak this morning um he came through here and he said the same thing they're short striking a buzz bait they're short striking a frog so it could be just one of those off funky days where they're just swiping at it they're just trying to get it out of their area they're not really hungry they're not feeding Another thing to keep in mind is this lake is very, 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 very pressured. The most pressured lake, hands down, in uh, in the area that I live in. And a lot of people have been targeting these pike, especially after that video where I dropped my PB. Um, a lot of the people that watch my videos do also live in this area. So, um, yeah, so it could be one of those things where they just, they've been caught so many times that they're just swiping at lures and stuff. 
I don't know. Anyways, I'm going to switch up tactics. I'm going to go to a deeper diving crankbait for some pike, and then after that, I'm going to go after some largemouth. There's one. There's one. Good bass. Good bass. Good bass. First one, folks. Here we go. Here we go. Yes. Yes. Finally, guys. Finally. Oh, my God. I was getting so nervous that I wasn't going to be able to make a video for you guys. It's dead calm. Look at this. Dead calm bluebird skies. This is literally the worst conditions known to man for bass fishing. It's post front. There's a giant storm that rolled in the last couple days, but I was able to make it happen right there. there you, now you guys can somewhat see the fish. This is Leroy. See you later, Leroy. Hell yes, folks. Was not able to make anything happen with the pike, unfortunately. Like it sucked. I had the bites, but I feel like that's just kind of how pike, pike go. It's either you catch them or you don't. I mean, you usually get some bites if you're in the right area. It's just, uh, it's just a matter of luck if you actually can hook the fish. See, and throwing a little Nico rig, just a slow moving presentation. It's not like necessarily a finesse lure. Um, it's kind of like a, I call it a big fish finesse lure. Not that that fish was giant by any means, but it's not like a little tiny shaky head or anything. It's it's a big lure, but it's slow. It's, it's basically similar to a jig. If you were to throw a big old football head jig or something along the rocks, slowly dragging it, same, same concept, a little bit more finesse and um, it's one of my favorite lures to throw when it's pressured. I mean, there's people fishing all around me right now, which is why I'm not completely screaming my head off. I don't want to draw too much attention, but there's like literally five or six people just right over there. So um, yeah, so there's people fishing everywhere. Good tactic is a little Nico rig. I'm gonna keep fishing these rocks though. That's good. I'm, I'm actually kind of surprised I caught that fish. Water is super muddy right now and just full of junk, no wind, high pressure post front sunny bluebird worst conditions but i'm gonna see if i can make something happen for you guys there's one there's one yes stay down stay down come on baby oh god that's a good large mouth Yes, yes, guys, yes. It is now 10 o'clock, guys. I am really sucking it up. Look at that fish, that is a chunky fish. That's why I love coming to this lake. Look at the quality. You usually catch quantity here, but today not so much, but it's always quality. Look at that, that's just a gorgeous, gorgeous little largemouth right there. Beautiful. See you later, Joey. Bam. Well, folks, I am really just sucking it up right now. I've got one last, one last idea. I'm gonna run all the way down to the dam. I tried offshore a little bit, didn't work. Tried the chatterbait some more, didn't work. I'm gonna go to the dam, and uh, they're pulling a lot of water because the water's high because of all the rain. So I'm thinking maybe, maybe the fish are down there feeding. So we're gonna go give it a shot. Oh God, there's a fish. Oh gosh, come on, yes. Oh my God, I'm an idiot. Oh my gosh, I did not know that was a fish for like the first 10 seconds it was fighting. Wow. Come here, buddy. God, look, look how this just shows how muddy it is. This fish is literally white from how nasty and dirty the water is. There's zero vegetation around here. All right. There you go, buddy. I'll show you guys real quick what I caught that on. This is a uh, one of my favorite baits to throw around rocks, especially offshore. Which I'm not really fishing offshore, just fishing the rocky dam. That's just a little little creature bait, little beaver bait like this on a wobble head. This wobble head is really good at coming through rocks. You guys can see it's pretty beat up. It just comes through rocks and I actually reeled in just like a little crank, like a little square bill. Um, for some reason, it just kind of gets reaction strike and it's weedless. As you guys can see, you can kind of text pose it if you want. And uh, you don't get hung up as much as like a square bill would. And uh, just a different presentation. But I also have a tip for you guys. I like giving tips. I like using this little marker pen. A lot of times I use a chartreuse side. Anytime I'm using this thing, I usually use the, the orange side because it imitates a crawfish. And normally I just kind of do the little tips like this. I'll just like kind of cover the tip like that. Just a little flash. But it's so dirty. Like the water is so dirty right now. And uh, I could have thrown a black and blue one of these baits. But I just... I mean, I just caught one on, on this color, so I'm gonna roll with it. But basically, I'm gonna take this thing and just cover this entire back end with orange. You guys might think this looks stupid, but it's just enough to stand out in this water because the water is actually the color of my bait. It's like a green pumpkin stain. So something like this just gives them something a little, 
something a little bit more, you know, more flash, a little color. Just something easy for them to see. That's This is literally exactly the lure I was throwing when I caught that last fish. It looked just like that. It's like half orange, half, uh, half green pumpkin. It works, it's something different. It's something the fish probably have not seen. I will link all the products like this thing and uh, in the rod, the reel, the line, the lure, everything that I'm using today, I'll link it all down below. But let's go catch some more bass. Another fish, another fish. Yes, oh God, that might be a good one. Strip my drag, there we go. Oh God, that's a big one. Yes, dude, that's two fish in the same spot. This is why you don't give up, folks. This right here is why you don't give up. I actually almost left and went to another lake. That was the very next flipping cast, folks. Absolutely fantastic. There you go, buddy. Whoop. That is Carlos. See you later, Carlos. Again, what did I just say? You paint this thing up, make it look like a freaking clown, and uh, just real, literally just slow roll it. Just like you're reeling in a little, a little crankbait, reeling in a chatterbait, it's just different. It's just, it's just something different. The fish probably have not seen this thing hauling ass next to them on the rocks. Looks like a crawfish, looks like a bluegill. Cre creates a reaction strike. They usually just knock slack in it. The second you feel slack, set the hook, boom. There is your fish. Damn, that felt like a bite. There he is, I said, that felt like a bite. God dang it, that was a good one. Did you guys see that? Oh my God. I literally just under breath was like, oh, that felt like a bite. Well, no Sherlock, it was one. Oh man, well, I mean, that was kind of cool. I mean, I wish I would have landed him, but that was sick. That was right at the boat. Like, I think he was following it as I was reeling it and hit it. And he hit it several times before he actually like somewhat got it in his mouth. And I still didn't hook him just, I didn't really have any chance to set the hook. He ate it right at the boat as I was lifting it out. That was one of the cooler fish I've ever had hit one of these things. I don't know. Normally they, they bite it, you know, way out there, but that one bit it right at the boat and it hit multiple times. I could feel like it hit, kept reeling, hit, kept reeling. And then it hit one last time and actually ate it right there. That was pretty sick, not gonna lie. But I wish I would have landed them. I think, I think I'll try to catch another one here and uh, then call it a day. Maybe I should set the hook on that fish. My gosh, I almost jet messed this one up too. There's, there we go, another fish, baby. That's a good one too. God, these fish are good. I love this lake. Just such quality size largemouth. I can't even, I don't even, I don't even want to boat flip this thing, making me all nervous. That's a good fish. He had it for a minute. I don't know why I'm taking so long to set the hook on these things. Gosh, dang it, they're so fat. Look how small the head is compared to the body. Absolutely unreal, guys. Just, I mean, chunk, straight, straight football of a large mouth. Easily three, three and a half pounds, and then he's got a teeny tiny little mouth. Just, they're munching, guys. This is just crazy. Crazy, crazy, crazy. Absolute chunkers. See you later, Gerald. Woo! Yes! Oh, feels so good. I love fishing. I love it. It is that time of the day, folks. I am headed home. It is 1.32 p.m. I only expected to stay out here till about 11 or noon, and I ended up staying a little bit longer. I didn't catch any more fish, unfortunately, but I had a fun time. I mean, it was, I wish I would've caught those pike for sure. I wish I would've caught more bass, but I still caught, I mean, a decent, I mean, I caught a limit of bass, which is pretty much your goal anytime you go fishing, is to catch five fish. They were pretty much all quality, no squeakers, but no absolute giants. That's just kind of this lake. This lake's just filled with, you know, medium size, like three pounders, but it's still fun. Um, fished a technique that I, I, I do use, but I fished it in a way that I don't, if that made any sense. I use the, the I've, used, I've used the lure before, but I have not fished it in that way of literally shallow, shallow cranking essentially is what it is with a, uh, with a little wobble head. So hope you guys enjoyed. Hope you guys learned something, maybe a new tactic of uh, taking a orange dye pen and coloring it up in muddy water. I mean, I don't know. I'm surprised it worked honestly myself, but it did. They, uh, they munched it. Everybody I talked to on the lake pretty much didn't catch much of anything. So kind of a bummer. Anyways, I have that meetup, like I said at the beginning of the video, I didn't explain super in depth, but I have five mystery tackle boxes to give away and a few favorite rods. Favorite rods will actually be there with, with like the whole trailer and rods and everything. So I only have 10 of my frog and flipping sticks 
left in stock and they are bringing all 10 of them to the meetup. So if you guys have been wanting a Flares Frog and Flippin' Stick, you better come to the meetup and get them because otherwise they are completely sold out and gone. So they'll be there, so you probably want to get there fairly early. I think the show opens at 9. I'll be there around noon. Um, but yeah, so those will be there. I'm giving away five mystery tackle boxes. Something every 30 minutes or so, I'm going to be doing a mystery tackle box giveaway and a favorite rod giveaway. There's going to be a whole bunch of flare merch there. I'll be tossing flare merch out to everybody and uh, taking pictures, just chilling, just just relax. It's really fun meeting you guys in person, um, you know, putting a face to a name to a comment type thing. So anyways, if you guys are within driving distance of Omaha, Nebraska, you should be there. You've got a chance of winning mystery tackle boxes, favorite rods, flare merch, and uh, just... Just come hang out. I think Fire Pond Guy might be there and uh, Milliken Fishing. There'll be a few people there that you guys also might know that you might want to meet. Anyways, I'm going to quit talking. I got to get home. I got a meeting. I got to go to. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. If you did, smash that like button. If you haven't subscribed, well, what the hell are you doing? Go subscribe right now and peace.